Hi everybody, I'm Oliver Phelps who played George Weasley in the Harry Potter films. And I'm James Phelps and I played Fred Weasley in the Harry Potter films and today we're here to check out Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit. Say it five times faster, please. Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit. Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit. Oh, so it's it's Go on, you try them. No. Right, so as you can see, you build your own wand and that's what we're going to be doing throughout the whole day. Learn to code 70 plus step-by-step -step challenges, I can do that, and play with your tablet or computer. Yeah, yeah, it interacts with either a tablet or a computer. Brilliant. It's cool. So have you ever done any coding before, Oliver? I tried years ago and gave up. Okay, so hopefully today you will learn how to code. Uh, this look, this, I've got to be honest, this looks much more fun than just learning a load of numbers and digits, so... Get everything out of here. Oh. What else have we got in? Yeah, you can have the instructions. I don't know, this is a poster with all the different one movements, see? Cool. So when you're practicing, put it on your wall. And even better, stickers! We've got a portrait of yourself, James. <laughs> anyway, back to the topic. Um, and we have the wand. So what have we got? All right, so we've got the wand. Yes. The PCB. I'll get, that a, bit, I'll get that a bit later. Okay. Batteries, button, back of the wand. Let's put it together. Cool. Pick up that piece there, the brain. Now this is called the printed circuit board or the PCB. So look closely at the parts and there you'll see the power controller, sensors, button, a Bluetooth light that'll come in very handy in just a second. Turn it over and that's where the batteries go. Triple A's and slot the first one in and slot the second one in. And do not insert batteries incorrectly as this may cause battery leakage overheating and damage. That's okay, right. so put them in there. Are they in the right way? They are, and the light is lighting. Let's flip it over and make sure the blue light is on. We've checked that. Yes. Make sure the batteries are in the, if not, the batteries are in the wrong way round. So inside this little black box, mm -hmm. there, is that a small little thing there? Yep. Are three sensors. Okay. Can you pronounce them? Gyroscope. Right. And that senses the gravity. Yes. So you go. A Accelerometer. And that knows your speed. Yes. And a... Magnetometer. And that calculates the coding one's direction. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right, so this means that your coding one knows whether it's going up, down, left, right, how quick it's going. So, next thing. Put that down. Put the brain down. Take the wand and the button, which is there. Yep. And place the button in and make sure that the button is facing out the other end. Yes. Yep. And take the PCB, or brain as we we're now calling it, and place it onto the surface. Okay. Should make sure that the blue light is on the other side flashing, flashing through. Yes. If it's not, you've probably got it in the flashing. wrong way around. Better I've done it the right way. Yeah, yep. we're in. In. And now get the back of the, uh, the cover, slide it in. Done. And there we have our wand. So your tablet or computer needs the Cano app to talk to the coding wand, right? So you can download that from cano.me slash app. So you ready to get started? Yes, come on. All right, and so we'll click on the leaky cauldron. Yep. There we go. Okay, so let's start by centering the wand in the middle of the screen. So, so it says point at the middle of the screen and press its button. Now give it a wave. <laughs> it's a very fancy wave. Very wave. Royal wave. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next. And I'll try not to break any... Yeah, tell you that. Try not to break everything, and you broke everything. It's collateral damage. There we go, done. Whoa. How does that feel compared to our ones that we had on the film? Really freely, actually. It's a lot easier, I think. For those of you who don't know, so we had these ones while we were filming. Oliver's like a broomstick, mine's like a pine comb, and it was very uncomfortable to hold. So how comfy is that? Really comparison? comfortable, actually. It's very practical. Okay, so now we're going to go through some of the challenges and have a bit of a play. So yes, come on. Let's, ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to go from the challenges to the play mode. Play. Play. Uh, let's start with some Bertie bots. Okay, so on the left, just ignore that for the time being, but that is actually code. Cool. This okay. will all make sense a bit later on. So on the right-hand side, you've got the screen. Right. So uh, make those beans grow. Can you imagine if you could do that when you were coming back from the sweet shop? I just from want a giant huge, thing. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with the hippogriff. Oh, there you go. There's a lot of code on that one. Oh, he's, he's flying. Yeah, so you can fly the hippogriff. 
Okay, so that is because of the gyrometer? Why he's upside down? He's making words up now. <laughs> no, isn't that, wasn't that what he was called earlier? <laughs> Instruction boy. I'll just make sure you don't kill me. I'll, I'll stand back a bit. The thing I love about it is that the movement is actually how we did it in the films because we never tried to overdo it. A fire. Oh, there's a lot of code in this one, okay. Okay. So, up. See, this is how a one movement looks, see? Very fluid. You skipped that class though, didn't you, when we were filming that? Okay, let's check out the feather. Okay, but as this is a wand and we need to learn the first part of coding and anything like that. Yep. There's a feather option, so do you want to levitate a feather? No. Okay, so there's the feather. Oh, look at that. He's moving. Okay. I think that's a bit... A bit annoying. I think maybe you should go for like a mountain troll. Ooh. Rah! Rah, where's my dinner? Oh, there's something I never thought I'd be doing. Or you can change that to a load that you can get. A nose biting teacup. Do you know what you're doing right now? No. You're coding. Really? Yeah. All right, I thought I was just giving you random stuff. No, see how easy this is. I really want to get in and learn how to do some more coding. That's a good shout. Thank you very much for watching this video. So check back next time when we get into some creativity and some more proper coding. See you then.